in this video, I want to take you through me designing a t-shirt and how I used to do it when I did this a couple of years ago. I did it basically pen and paper, all right? So I know a lot of my videos, a lot of my research has been done on the computer, but what I haven't ever told you is that one thing I did differently to pretty much everyone else I know is that I designed my t-shirts literally pen and paper before I went to the computer and like copied my design from my pen and paper from my paper onto the computer. So that's why I want to go through this video with you. I want to draw out my most popular design and hopefully you'll be able to see this and get an idea of how I came up with my ideas and how you could do the same. So before I get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'm very close to 10,000 subscribers and I feel like you'll be able to help if you hit that subscribe button. And let's just get right into it, no fast. So here's my pen, here's my paper. I'm going to draw out my most popular design, which was a bartender t-shirt. And the way I came up with this is, so I had my lines. So I knew I wanted text here. So I wanted logo here. So image. Text, and I wanted more text here. Text. So a break. Text and then text. <clears throat> okay, so that is my overall design. What I would then do is, I would go in and actually draw it out. I'm gonna time-lapse this whole drawing so that you can get an idea of what I did. I'd also be able to see which font I was kind of going for here. So here I'm going for some sort of Times New Roman font. So I know when I'm designing it in Photoshop, exactly what font to look for. So some of these fonts that I did, I had to design myself, just using the pen tool and select tool, and literally design it myself. This also gives me a good idea whether or not I feel like this could be sold, basically. Does that make sense? So I think, could this actually be a t-shirt? Would someone wear this? Obviously I would need to have maybe thicker I need it to be a bit thicker. Right, and I could probably color it in. I could see potentially what colors would work. Orange work, right? And by doing this, it kind of allowed me to really see if it would look good. And sometimes even keeping these lines in here is quite a nice, quite a nice touch. Green looks good. Bartender. Green would actually be quite good if it's St. Patty's Day and I'm making some sort of bartender t-shirt. I've actually done that before. Right, so then I would put in, I'm a bartender, what's your superpower? So I want this to be, again, in that, in that time new Roman font. Yeah, it doesn't have to be clean. It's not about it being clean. The whole thing would have to be obviously thicker. So I know that I have to move this up a tiny bit so that I have space for the your and the superpower I would kind of want in a different font I'm thinking so maybe have like a Something like that, like it's Superman, but maybe even bigger. Let's... I know that's bigger. And then maybe have it overlapping, so have it across here, like that. So it'd be like. That, in my head, looks like quite a good design. And then what I have here, I guess I could just have a big glass or beer. Mm. 
this design, how much did this design make? This design made thousands, thousands and thousands. And it's, it was that simple. It was literally me on a piece of paper, drawing out my ideas, designing what I thought would work, what wouldn't work. And that's pretty much what it led to. It led to something like this. And then I would go to Photoshop or if I didn't know how to use Photoshop and I was just pretty good at drawing, I would give this to someone on Fiverr and say, take a picture of it and say, this is what I want in Photoshop. Can you please make something similar? They would know, OK, that's Times New Roman. This is probably some sort of made up font that they could figure out, Times New Roman, and then some sort of calligraphy font over here. So just it's so much easier working with pen and paper and seeing what works, what doesn't work. And this is just a text based design. As soon as you throw in some sort of uh, pictures or logos or anything, drawing on a pen and paper becomes so much better. If you want to see more of these videos, let me take you off here. If you want to see more of these videos, then please let me know in the comments down below. I'm happy, I can happily make more time lapses of me doing my most popular designs and maybe not even my most popular designs, but just designs in general. Um, I love drawing, I love literally pen and paper. It's how I started this business, so it seems it, it, it makes a lot of sense to you know, teach it the same way I started it. So again, if you want to see more time lapses of me drawing, maybe even new designs, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.